Have you ever heard the expression, making love? Or people saying, I have the right to love whoever I want to love. I can love whoever I want to love at any given moment. And I was thinking like, is sex love? Or how has this idea been given to us in society that sex equates love or sex is love or sex is a way that we express our love to people when in actuality it's not. So I'm here to take us on a new road of uh, understanding sex and love and how the two are different. Let me start by saying that we are all charged to love one another. We are all given a, the responsibility to love our brothers and sisters, to love our neighbors, to love our friends, to love every single human being that we come in contact with. But to better understand what is love, you have to abide in love and become love. For scripture says, now I'm a woman that believes in the Bible. So when the Bible says that God is love, that I have to be intimate with God to understand what exactly love is and ultimately become love by the power of Jesus Christ. So when I look at 1 Corinthians chapter 13, basically describes what love is, who love is. In a nutshell, let's read it together. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves, or perseveres, sorry. Love never fails. So now that we've defined love, let's define sex. So I just Google sex and sex basically says sexual intercourse. Simple enough, plain as day. Now this is what my interpretation of sex is based on what God has given me. Sex is a physical celebration of man and woman in the covenant or protection of marriage with a purpose of unification and procreation. Okay, that is not me. That for sure is Holy Spirit, because I don't talk like that. So I was like, okay, God, why have we fused together the notion that sex is love or love is sex and how we have to express our love through sexual and physical things? And God was like, because we have it all wrong, because the, the prince of the power of the air right now has perversed everything that God does, everything who that God releases on the earth, the enemy counterfeits it. Love is not sex. Love is not conditional. It is not based on emotions, period. Love is unconditional. Love is sacrificial. Love is endurance. Love is patient, you guys. We hate being patient. I know I do sometimes, but we learn so much in the process of patience. We learn so much about who God is in the process of patience. The fact that Patience is the first explanation or the first definition used in scripture, love being patient. That is, that is a heavy and weighted thing. So when I think about how our bases, our fuses have gotten crossed with love and sex, they're two completely different things. And so if you're in a relationship that is defined by sex and not love, you can have sex and not experience love. People do it all the time, not experience the desire to want to be patient with someone, long suffering with someone, um, to be have self control, to be gentle and kind. Those are that's what love is. Sex is just merely a physical expression of coming together as one underneath the covenant of the sanctif sanctification of the fact that that sex is holy and it's just basically for you to procreate and enjoy yourself with your spouse physically. So basically, all of these thoughts are basically to come together. <laughs> and give you a new perspective on what sex is and what love is and the two are not the same. Sex does not prove you love someone, so making love, that phrase, is completely invalid. You can't make love, you become love. And the only way to become love is to know the one who is love. So I charge you with just pursuing God, pursuing the fact that love is real, love exists and love conquers all and love never fails. Sex versus love, let's end it. Sex is not love. Love is God. Love is action. Love is unconditional. 
And you know what? I learned so much about love every day in my marriage because I have to wake up and choose to love my husband. Whether he annoys me or frustrates me in the moment or not, I chose to love him. And God choosing to love me, who is so unworthy, like he's like he chose to love us. And so therefore I love him because you love me, God. You love me first and you're teaching me about what it is to love and to become love.